So, today was my first time experience trying uh, TDCS. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that stands for, TDS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. And the basic idea is it involves flowing a very small uh, current through your brain. Um, the first thing that comes to mind for most people when they hear that idea is, uh, is shock therapy, um, currently called ECT, electroconvulsive therapy. And uh, yeah, it does induce convulsions, seizures, etc. And um, TDCS, from the research I've done, flows about 400 to 2,000 times less current through the brain than, uh, than ECT does. I, um, I first got exposed to the idea just about a week ago, and I've just become absolutely consumed with researching about it and learning about it, and watched every video on YouTube about it, so I thought I would um, give back uh, and share some of my experience. Um, my unit just arrived today. This little guy here. Um, this is the Brain Driver version 2.1 uh, TDCS unit. One of the things that I really like about it is it's pretty compact. It's, it's you know, it fits in the palm of my hand, more or less. Um, it's portable. It's very, very portable. Uh, some of the other units are more of a box type shape and just not viable to put into your pocket. And the leads on this, I can't open them up fully and stay within the screen, but the leads are probably about four feet long. So there is a very reasonable uh, amount of freedom that you can have when using this. The other few reasons I went with the Brain Driver unit, which I got on Amazon for like 150, is that um, it's got an automatic timer and it's got a nice uh, LCD display with a backlight. So if you're in a dark area, um, you just tap one button and the backlight comes right on. I'm not, I have no agenda to use this as a sales pitch for the unit, but I'm just uh, sharing my experience. And I've only used it once so far, but so far, I'm really, uh, really happy with it. It's a good little design. Um, I think one of the things that makes learning about TDCS so tricky is that there's such a wide range of different ways this really, really simple device can be used. Um, and it's... If you know much about electricity, it's extraordinarily simple. It's just flowing a very small current of uh, DC electricity through the brain. DC means the current is going in one direction, whereas AC means it's going one direction and then reversing the direction back and forth in rhythm. And DC would work very, very differently than, uh, than TDCS would. Um, so yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of research about it, absolutely fascinated with the prospects, and had to buy a unit and give it a try, and today was my, my first go at it. And um, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't want to get my hopes up too high, and a lot of the literature that I've read suggests that the effects tend to build up over time, the more sessions you have with C uh, TDCS the more the changes tend to abide. Um, so yeah, I just kind of went into it with this uh, mindset of curiosity. And uh, I decided to go with the, the DARPA montage, which is the anode on the right temple, and the cathode, which is the negative conductor. Um, it says to put it in the left shoulder, but that wasn't really viable, because you need to be able to wrap 
something around like an ace bandage to hold on to keep the electrode against the body. So that's went with my left upper arm. And the common description or benefits for the, the DARPA montage, uh, montage, by the way, is the graphical placement of the electrodes on your head. Um, it's typically used for accelerated learning and visual perception and focus. Um, I decided to be conservative and start initially off with a half milliamp. Um, the common ranges used for TDCS are a half milliamp, which is a half of one thousandth of an amp, which is very, very small, up to two milliamps. So it's a pretty conservative range. And I decided to start off with the bottom of that range. And uh, when I first turned it on, um, noticed just a very slight warmth, tingling. I wouldn't call it a burning sensation. I wouldn't call it pleasant. Um, but it wasn't objectionable either. Uh, sensation in my right temple, not, not so much on my arm, but more on my right temple. Maybe the skin's a little bit more sensitive up there. And one of the first things that I noticed within probably 60 seconds of turning it on was I came in and looked at some of my charts in the background. And it was, it was not dramatic. None of my experience today has been dramatic, but it's definitely been noticeable. Um, visually, I noticed that whatever I was perceiving, I was really engaged with it. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind as I was observing myself in this process was, it reminded me of a very slight effect of being on psychedelic mushrooms, in that vision was very heavily weighed, it was really engaging to my brain. And there was also an absence of kind of the absence of compartmentalization of my consciousness. So in other words, what I was perceiving, I was really focused on. Whereas my normal consciousness is I might be looking at the charts, you know, when I'm working or interacting with somebody and there's a lot of other extraneous information bouncing around in my noodle. And that was much, much quieter. Actually, I would say it was probably non-existent. I did not get the sense of any type of heightened ability to absorb information. Um, I just, the primary thing I noticed was a stillness uh, mentally and kind of like a monotasking mindset, which could be good, could be bad. Uh, a lot of the ideas and observations about TDS, TDCS, is that it's a zero-sum experience, which means it's going to augment some qualities and diminish other qualities. And that certainly parallels my experience today. So, for example, I was very engaged with what I was perceiving visually. Um to the exclusion of what was going on around me. And that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. The biggest takeaway that I had for today, as I started off, I started off at about at 0.5 millivolts, and then I eventually rolled it up to uh, 1.5, excuse me, not millivolts, milliamps, excuse me, for a total of uh, 20 minutes. During that time, as well as for several hours afterwards, the biggest takeaway for me was a very, a great sense of stillness within myself. And that's still with me, you know, you probably <laughs> you might be able to pick up on the, the presence and the slower processing speed um, that I'm speaking at. And that stillness really seems to have stayed with me for the remainder of the day right now. It's uh, 7 p.m., and I had my session around 1 p.m., so it was about six hours ago. And for being a normally 
very fast thinking, strong tendency towards anxious type personality. Um, it's pleasant. It's probably similar to maybe taking some uh, L-theanine, the amino acid that's in green tea. Just kind of a calm, focus uh, type experience. I've read of other experiences using the same montage that people felt like they'd had some caffeine. And of course, there's the uh, 9 volt Nirvana account, which is very, very different than mine. Um, that being said, I feel that this is definitely loose, useful for people that might have anxiety or need to increase their ability to focus, or maybe they're in a very distracting environment. Um, one of my great challenges in my trading is being able to sit, sit still for six hours and stay focused on the nine monitors behind me. That's that's continues to be a great challenge. And I'm really curious about um, how TDCS might benefit me in that way. Um, one of my greater curiosities is pairing TDCS with other kinds of experiences. Um, it's this, this little thing here, you know, I've got this, you know, a couple wires and a 70s headband. That's it. And it's extraordinarily portable. And the idea of pairing this with perhaps yoga, perhaps doing emotional work, meditation, consciousness work, pranayama, um, all these deeply experiential activities, I think there's tremendous, tremendous potential. And the fact that it is so portable and so non-intrusive, it could be paired with perhaps, you know, two or three other things. So I'm really excited about it. I will likely um, post other videos about experiences I have in the future. I'm probably going to do another session tonight with a different montage just to see um, how that experience differs from what I experienced today. But I'm going to continue on with the DARPA montage for probably 20 minutes a day, probably uh, one milliamp um, for probably five days, and see if my experiences uh, change over time like they do for so many other people and I will keep you tuned as to uh, how that unfolds.